So the main section of the path goes down the middle of the garden and that originally was a concrete path that split and cracked and I want to take it up and relay it because there's no point in putting new paving down on an old cracked surface. But just to give you an idea of why that cracked. This is what I took up. Sometimes concrete can appear quite thick at the edge. But when I broke it up, you see this is only maybe 50 mil, two inches thick at its best in the center. And what made it worse is it was laid on old brick and crushed rubble, which was no, you know, no smaller than a fist. Um, so what had happened basically is the larger bits underneath the larger sub base had sunk into the ground and you could see that the dented soil underneath and that's why it collapsed in on itself so because we've ordered this skip a bit like when we ordered the digger i'm trying to think well what else can we put in it um it's only for rubble and soil and i'm pretty sure we won't struggle to fill it but i do want to get rid of this concrete path and um, this area either needs to be relayed as a path or we may extend the this end the utility the old outhouse of the house out to probably another meter or meter and a half. So first job is to see how thick this is, make sure we're not taking on too much. It's about two inches that side, so it's probably why it's cracking. It's about three, three that side, so and it's not gonna have any metal in it, um, but it's really thin and that's probably why it's failed and it's all cracked. So I want a neat cut across here from this wall end so that we can go and lay it, go ahead and lay the natural stone on this, which is all sound. And then this we need to break up into pieces that we can handle. that's all the cutting we need to do then we'll just break it up by hand now turns out I was a little bit optimistic with the thickness there's two or three inches at the side but actually in the middle it's a good four or five inches thick but we're getting there when you take the first bit out then it's easy enough you can work your way along but this is quite a good tool for the job this lifting bar you can just leave everything up I'd say we're about two thirds, just over two thirds of the way through. It's getting thicker. It's something that's really quite thick. Um, but we've got to a point now where this downpipe uh, goes into the concrete. And until now, I'd never known what was under there. I thought it would just be a soak away and it would just go into the under the grass somewhere. Turns out there's a clay pipe under there, which is good news really because I hope that will join up with the the main sewer. This whole area here is really wet, um, where the rainwater is coming down and this plastic doesn't go into the clay pipe below. So it's been seeping under the concrete, which is probably the reason why the whole concrete slab has dropped by two inches and it's subsided away. Um, but it's also caused a lot of damp in this wall the other side. When it comes to damp, people throw the word damp around all the time and people don't buy a house because of it or they're getting specialists. But, you know, a house wasn't built damp. There's always a reason for it. Um, and for instance, here, it's, all it is is rainwater not being taken away properly and it's just causing uh, moisture to build up underneath the slab and in the wall. Same over where we're doing the porch at the moment. There's old kind of wet soil just trapped against the stonework. So it's wicking in through the stone. And the house wasn't built like that. That's stuff that's been done without thought. Um, you know, over the period of the, the life of the house. So that's my rant over, but when it comes to damp, don't, you know, there's normally always a reason for it. It could just be a crack in the pointing, 
um, or in the mortar. It could be just that the wrong plaster has been in, used inside the house. Um, but anyway, we're going to keep going. We've got another metre to go and then we need to do another clean cut with the saw. And then we've got quite a nice, neat uh, kind of area that we can clean up. And that's where we'll hopefully do this extension in the future. So things are really getting moving now. We've got the preparation to do for the path, which I'll be doing in the next video, which is the excavation and laying in the sub base. So I'll show you how I'm doing all that prep. And then we're gonna start laying the sandstone uh, sets. That's the first job before moving on to the patio. So loads of videos to come. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you can, do it yourself.